I had a hearing loss myself for about 20 years and I wore hearing aids and I think that's what led me into the world of hearing therapy and working with people with hearing loss. So although um, I can't tell what it's like for anybody else, I know what it was like for me. I've been fortunate enough to have some surgery so I can hear much better than I could before. One thing I've found is that people have a sort of perception that um, hearing loss is only found in pensioners, you know, older people who are already struggling with, with everyday life. And that's really not the case at all, as I think some of your other films are showing. So I think it's fair to say that a lot of people with a hearing impairment don't want to tell people. They don't really want to say, they see it as a, a, a weakness or a failing and, and because it's associated with ageing to, to some extent. Um, and there's all that, also that old thing about, um, you know, are, if, if you can't hear me, are you deaf or are you stupid? There are lots of places that say they've got loop systems, but when you actually ask about it, you find that they haven't gotten turned on, they've actually got no idea how they work. This has happened recently in a theatre over here. Um, they've got about three quarters of a system, but not the, not the last bit that actually makes it work. Um, so yeah, there, there are lots of, lots of things like that that are just frustrating and hearing impaired people just don't bother, like Judy said. It's easier, really, to get the video and watch a film at home with subtitles. Uh, we could do with more subtitle performances over here, having had just the one, which was fantastic. But um, yeah, but it, everything should be subtitled. It is mostly appropriate to touch somebody on their arm just to get their attention, get their attention just in a gentle way. Um, but um, yes, to, just to to get the conversation going and yes, look straight, look straight at them, speak a bit more slowly ask if they need help. What really doesn't help somebody with a hearing loss is talking really slowly and loudly like that. It doesn't work at all. You just need to speak naturally, slow down a bit, maybe a little bit more volume, but not, not too much really. It doesn't help. That doesn't help at all. And if somebody's lip reading you, they may think that you're angry if you're your facial gestures start to get very intense. They, they might think you're angry with them. So actually just relax, speak a little bit more slowly and raise your voice slightly and that probably will help quite a bit.